Welcome Aquarius to your weekly reading. This is for the 10th to the 16th of April. We're going to go ahead and see all the possible energies and messages coming through for you this week. We're going to start off by looking at the first row as the possible energy beginning the week. The second row is going to be the area that you should focus on. The third row is going to be the unexpected energy coming in. The fourth row is going to be messages and advice from spirit. And finally, our last row is going to be the possible outcome of the week. Aquarius, this is a collective reading, so take what resonates and leave the rest. We're going to start off here with Six of Cups, and we're just looking at the possible energy beginning the week. So let's see what is this Six of Cups energy for Aquarius, please. And you have got Queen of Swords. Okay. Aquarius, this is an interesting energy. It might not resonate with everybody, but I think there is somebody that is presenting as the Queen of Swords. Can you see our Queen of Swords is facing the past? I think this Queen of Swords could be somebody that you are very close to. Six of Cups tells me that this could be a family member, this could be somebody from your past, somebody you've known for many, many years. But there is something with regards to this Queen of Swords energy that is coming up this week. We just see her energy appearing and it's just letting us know who she is. Queen of Swords could be a masculine or a feminine energy. We're talking about the energy of the card. Queen of Swords has the tendency to be a very no-nonsense kind of queen to the point where they are sometimes incredibly harsh. They can be harsh with their actions, they can be harsh with their words, it's going to be so different. The Queen of Swords is not an easy energy. This could be quite a complicated person. This could be anything Aquarius. This could be somebody that you had a heated discussion with. This could be somebody that you're planning to do something with. It's going to be so different for everybody. But as we move forward, we're going to understand what this is all about. So we do see her presence coming up at the beginning of the week. Now we're looking at the judgment card and we're looking at the area that you should focus on. So we now want to see what is this judgment energy for Aquarius, please. What is this judgment energy? Strength. Okay, so this is a very strong energy. And I do believe it has something to do with our Queen of Swords. Like I said, this is somebody you probably have known for many, many years and probably you have a history with. I do think there might have been some incident in the past. It could be a few weeks ago, a few months ago or even longer. But it's coming up this week, Aquarius. And we're being told that this is the week where you have to Stand up. Stand up for yourself, my dear Aquarius, with regards to whoever this Queen of Swords energy is. With the combination of judgment and strength coming up in what you need to focus on, I have a feeling there is going to be a circumstance where you have to address our Queen of Swords. I think perhaps in the past there might have been some kind of issue, altercation, situation with this Queen of Swords energy and now you have to address it. With the judgment coming in, letting us know you're going to have to stand up, you're going to have to talk, you're going to have to take action and you're going to have to be seen and heard. Strength is telling me that you're going to have to harness your strength within. It does seem a bit overwhelming dealing with this character. We see that here with this oversized lion. But Aquarius, you are going to manage it because the energy I'm getting is once you do it, once you get into it, 
You're going to manage it with ease. It's the thought of it that can be quite daunting. But you've got nothing to worry about. It's just that first move forward. Standing up and saying, no, this is what I think. This is what I feel. Then your strength is just going to flow and you're going to manage the situation. Very interesting energy we are seeing here. Let's go ahead now and see what this Knight of Cups energy is that is sitting in your unexpected. So we now want to see what is this Knight of Cups energy sitting in Aquarius's unexpected, please. And you've got the Magician. This is a wonderful energy we are seeing in your unexpected. I don't think it's related to this Queen of Swords energy. I think this is completely different. What I'm seeing here, Aquarius, is unexpectedly there is something coming in with the essence of an offer. Now, this could be an offer in any area of your life. This could be an, a job offer to go on a date, to meet, to go on holiday with a friend. It could be anything but I don't think it's a small offer because underneath it we have the magician and the magician is telling me whatever this cup is it's something you have been wishing for praying for meditating on visualizing right you've put it all up there into the universe and now unexpectedly we are seeing something coming to fruition. And this is a very exciting energy we are seeing coming through for you. Let's go ahead and see what this Hierophant energy is that is sitting in messages and advice from Spirit. Okay, let's see now what is this Hierophant energy coming in for Aquarius, please. Let's see what we have here. The sun. This is a very big message coming through from spirit. And I think this is very much connected to this offer we see coming in. Spirit is wanting you to know that this cup that is coming in, this offer, is a gift from the universe. They see and acknowledge everything you have been through in the past, and this is your time to receive. Hierophant is letting us know, as above, so below. With this cup coming in, it's going to bring you the sun energy. The sun energy is a beautiful energy to see associated with our offer, because it confirms for us that this offer is going to bring in so much happiness, my dear Aquarius. You are really going to feel like you are on top of the world. I feel this is something you have wanted for a long, long time, something you have been working for, and now here it comes. This is your time to receive, and this is being acknowledged and confirmed by Spirit. So, whatever this is for you, and it's going to be so different for all my Aquariuses, it's going to be coming through in an area of your life that is significant and a priority to you. It's what you've been dreaming of. You can just enjoy it because it is truly a gift from the universe. So my dearest Aquarius, all you have to do now is accept and enjoy. Let's go ahead now and see what this Five of Wands energy is that is sitting in the possible outcome of the week. So we now want to see what is Five of Wands energy for Aquarius, please. And you have got the Knight of Swords. Oh, that's very nice, Aquarius. You know, if there was any arguments, strife with this Queen of Swords energy, by the end of the week, I feel you have sorted this out completely, especially with our Knight of Swords coming in. Can you see how our Knight of Swords is pointing to the future? 
and moving at an incredibly fast pace. This energy of conflict, argument, strife, and I feel it has to do with our Queen of Swords energy. I feel you sort this out by the end of the week and you move on quickly, swiftly. It's like you don't leave anything left behind. This energy is sorted out. Can you see how quickly our Knight of Swords is moving? You've got things, you've got plans, you've got ideas, you are excited about whatever this cup is. And honestly, Aquarius, what I'm feeling here is you cannot be bothered anymore with this energy. It's like over for you. You want to move on now. And I do think you sort it out once you focus on it. It's onward into your beautiful, bright and exciting future. Right, let's go ahead now and see what your spirit animal is for this week. So we now want to see what is Aquarius's spirit animal this week, please. And you have got the lizard spirit. Number 38, dream the world into being. How perfect. 38 and the numbers, 3 and 8, are your auspicious numbers for this week. Any combination, any variation of these numbers, please consider a very lucky sign. The lizard is your spirit animal. So wherever the lizard comes up for you, this too is a very lucky sign. Dream the world into being. And I just have to do this, my dear Aquarius. This is what you are doing. You've dreamt this cup into being and now it's coming through for you. Wonderful to see. Really a very, very auspicious week. So that's all I have for you right now. I hope you enjoyed your reading. I wish you the most wonderful week and I'm sending you all so much love.